to be let down that I'm telling you the secret. But that's the show business part. The real business of it is, how do I actually memorize those first 20 words for the first time and do it in order and out of order? And that's what I'd like to teach you right now. Are you willing to learn how to do this trick? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Follow my instructions. I promise you it will work. And I'm going to prove my point. And I have about three or four minutes to do this. I'll speak a word. In fact, I'm going to speak 10 individual words. And when I speak those words, what I'd like everyone in this room to do is to simply see a picture that represents the word. Now, I'm going to give you an example. It's not one of the 10 words. If I say the word apple, give me a nod if you can see an apple in your mind. OK. Now, some of you may have difficulty doing that. And here's why. When people, human beings, young and adult, when we think, and we hear something, see something, taste something, feel something. I think I left one out. Here? I think it was here something, yeah. When we use our five outside sensors, our objective sensors, to take in information, we have to store it in our brain. And the way we do it is either with images, with sound, speaking to ourselves or hearing, and with interaction, kinesthetic. So, Information goes in, I store it away with one of those three modalities of thought, and then when I go to access it, I also access it with one of those three. And if I can't find it with the first one, I go to the second or the third. So as an example, when I'm observing somebody and I want to read their minds, I watch their eyes. And if I watch their eyes, I can tell them a lot of stuff about themselves, almost immediately, and if I have time at the end of the uh, uh, presentation, I'll be happy to share that with you. Okay, so here's the first word. I want everyone to see a picture. Don't analyze it. Just see it, let it go, all right? The first word is a bun, a hot dog bun. Go like this if you see a hot dog bun. If you don't see it, say it to yourself, and then you'll see it. If you don't see it, after you say it to yourself, interact with it, take a bite out of it, all right? You will put the picture or the sound or the kinesthetic feeling away. All right, second word. Here's the next word. Next one is a uh, shoe. I want you to see a shoe that you're familiar with. Now see a tree. Make it a very tall tree. Next, I want you to see a door that you walk through every day. Car door, home door, office door, house door, school door, whatever door. Now I want you to see a drive. And for this one, you could either be playing golf with a driver or you can see yourself up at the... Uh, uh, oh, you're at the steering wheel in your car, and you're driving it, no matter what your age is. Maybe you're just driving it in your mind, and you're driving, and you look out on the hood of the car. All right? Drive. Next one I want you to see is sticks, and I'd like you to make it drumsticks. And just to make it fun, turkey drumsticks. Don't drop them. Sticks. Okay? Now see heaven. Whatever your interpretation is. I see uh, uh, clouds and angels. Heaven. All right? I want you to now see a picture of a plate, the dinner plate at your home. Everybody remembers the plate. You sit there and you eat on it every day. All right? Plate. And then uh, let's see a fishing line. And the fishing line is hanging above the water, nothing on the hook. Fishing line. And the last one will be a pig pen. And for a pig pen, I've got pigs, mud, fence. Or pigs, fence, mud. All right? Now I'm going to say them one more time. Your job will be to reinforce the picture that you had. Try not to make a new one, but don't worry about it if you do. Just go ahead and, and do it. What you're going to do now is reinforce those ten words. And then I'm going to test you, and don't be frightened, because I guarantee you, if you made your pictures, you will remember these ten words forever, and the pictures as well. Here we go. And this time, by the way, you know how we did A, B, C, D, and you knew E, F, G, H, I? Well, I'm going to show you that this becomes a rhyme, because what I've done is to take the words and rhyme them with a corresponding number. For instance, one is a bun. See a picture. Two is a shoe. See a picture of a shoe. Three is a tree. See a tall, tall tree. Four is a door, door that you move through every day. Five is drive. See the hood of the car. Six is sticks, drumsticks, turkey drumsticks. Seven is heaven, angels, clouds. Eight is a plate, dinner plate at home. Nine, a fishing line, nothing on the hook. And ten is a pig pen. Thence, mud, pigs.
Okay, now you're going to do terrific. I'll call out the number, and what I'd like each of you to do all in unison, like a choir, I want you to tell me what comes to your mind. Ready? Number four. Look what I just did. You probably expected me to say one. Now, when you were kids, and somebody taught you the ABCs the first time, and they said, okay, where is J? What would you have had to do? You'd have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and get to J. But you were able to come, most of you who played the game, you were able to come up with it just like that. That's because this works. And in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can use it. I don't care what your grade level is in the sense of you get A's or A pluses or C's or whatever you do. You're going to go up a grade, up another notch, if you use this to study with. And I'll teach you how very quickly. All right, here we go. I'll say the number. Everybody tell me what you see. And I'm going to start with the first one. Number one. One, one is correct. Two. Two. Excellent. Number three. three. We all know it's four. four. What's at number five? Drive. What's at number eight? Eight. 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 Okay, now you haven't had a lot of practice, but look, you're getting it. All right? Uh, what's, where, where's the shoe? Two. What's at number nine? Not high. Fishing, line. Fishing line. What's at number six? Six. six. Yes, and what's at number four? Door. What's at number five? Drive. Five is correct. Which one haven't I asked for? Seven. What's at seven? seven. seven. And number ten? Seven. Give yourselves a cheer. That was great. That was great. I promise you, I've been doing this a lot of years now, and a lot of, uh, I come back twice a year anyway, or twice every season. And this has been the best group yet. You've done very well. Okay, so what do you do with that? Well, you could go to a party and be a show-off like I am. But you could also use it as a way to memorize information differently than the way you're doing now. Here's what most people, I don't care if they're 10 or, or 100, this is the way they study. And I know this because I, I, I barely got out of high school. I was not there mentally. I physically showed up every day. And what I didn't tell you is when I was 15, I left home from my stepfather's house, and I still went to school. I lived at the YMCA in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I made sure I got to school every day till I graduated. I will also tell you that I look back on it, I'm glad I did it, but it didn't beat street experience. It didn't beat the experience, meaning I learned a lot of stuff that I would use later on if I had the right occupations. And I, I, I learned how not to get, let people cheat me mathematically, you know, give me the right change. I learned the kinds of things that helped me to survive, which is where I started this conversation with you. We think and we, we listen and we touch and everything we do is to survive. So what I'd like you to understand is how to use this to your advantage. Here's what I do. And I did it with the words, but I'll do it with some things here and I'll do it very quickly because I'm going to run out of time at 2.28. Wow, what a memory. Here we go. Um, I'm shortening this for you, but I still want you to get it. If I wanted to remember television at number what? Three. Number three. What I would do is I would immediately see a tree in my mind, because three is always a tree. And I would just, in my mind, put all these televisions up on the branches of the tree and shake the tree and try to dodge the the televisions as they came down. So three is a television. Okay? Now I want to remember the clock at number what? Eight. Number eight. Eight is what, please? A plate, right? So I've got the clock under my, under my plate in my mind, and all of a sudden I lift up that plate, and the clock shoots up into the air and bursts into parts. Well, the, pack, the clock on the back side. That could work too. Absolutely. The interesting thing is, my pictures would not be your pictures. We have the ability as human beings to mentally create. That is an astonishing thing that we can do. I created this occupation. 